a certified and artistic welder by trade and a welding instructor. Also from Ann Arbor, actually from Belleville, Michigan, and the jumpers are away. We have one out. Two jumpers, three jumpers out, and all four of the team members are out. Now you met Crystal, you met the team leader Cindy Irish, Amanda Scheffler is from Belleville, Michigan. That's the certified welder I talked to you about. All of the individuals, all eight of them, on the team are educated. They say first, you have to be serious about the sport. Secondly, you have to have a legitimate occupation to be a team member. Joining them, Allison Harper from North Kingston, Rhode Island. 900 jumps, 13 hours of free ball time. And there is the banners, those rippling banners that have been specifically designed to get that motion or animation in the air in the team colors, pink and blue. And if you were here earlier, I told you about how effective they are in the sunlight. They actually are of a material that reflects the sun back towards you. That rippling effect has an irregular way of reflecting the sun back and also providing animation. Now there's also a handful. You can see it a large square foot piece of material that changes or alters the descent of the jumper. It is weighted at the bottom to keep it parallel to the horizon as much as possible. You can see the red stream around the grassy area behind the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds aircraft, and each team member will land as directly into the wind as possible for a target area tiptoe stand-up landing. You also see the canopies are not round. They are square. There's a little bit of hot dogging in the air with some Air Force jogging by the lowest jumper of the remaining team members as they set up for that traffic pattern coming into the landing area and doing what we call the flight line spread. As they get closer to the ground, watch their arms and their hands. That's the final direction into the wind and also the brakes. When the arms come down, the chute gets flat, it gets slow, and another one-foot tiptoe stand-up landing. 